what we're looking at right now is an industry that, from our perspective, is in flux. As people are looking to move to cloud, the amount of services and, and the uh, pressures that are getting put on IT are becoming immense. We see more and more a lot of people that are trying to move to on-premise cloud environments, and we really want to try and help them solve some of those challenges. So our objectives here today, we're bringing together a bunch of thought leaders. So you're going to hear from all kinds of different folks today about how they might have different technologies that plug into this software-defined infrastructure kind of model. This is a beautiful dream of abstracting the different problems and services building on top of each other. The problem, though, is that each of these layers of abstractions are bursting with innovation. When you define an application elastic box with reusable components and through the collaboration process with the IT ops, you're going to be able to deploy it. And you're going to be able to deploy it in different cloud providers, in different data centers. In three and a half years, we've banded together all the incumbent players in the cloud infrastructure space. It's the fastest growing collaboration of this kind in history, and it's really become the de facto open source platform for cloud. I'm here to launch a product. I'm very, very happy to announce today the Data Center Manager Service Assurance Administrator. Service Assurance Administrator is a utility that uh, works with OpenStack, and the utility allows you to install agents on all of the nodes that are running an OpenStack environment, a controller uh, that communicates with those nodes to understand exactly what's going on, and then a plug-in to the scheduler part of OpenStack. We expect to drive dramatic gains in efficiency in private cloud and public cloud infrastructure based on OpenStack with the DCM Service Assurance Administrator, and we can deliver higher levels of trust. Our mission basically is to make systems management, to make the infrastructure consumable. The way we do it is through virtualization, abstraction, and containers, and what we call our holistic approach. Integra looks at the requirements of the application, the user, the infrastructure, and automatically provisions you the full stack that enables you to take the machine to production now, immediately, and automate the whole life cycle. And you have one execution system, which is Spark, and on top of that you have modules, which supports all of these UD scenarios. So when you write an application, you can very easily compose this functionality. We do believe that will open the door for new applications we haven't even thought about today. SDI enables you to take actions immediately from a security perspective. I never had the capability to take a whole bunch of servers, put them in an isolation zone with press of a button or a call of an API. SDI enables that. The networks are larger, you're seeing more servers, the servers are more transient, they don't last three years anymore, and the abstractions that we're building are hiding irrelevant complexity. What we build at Puppet Labs is abstractions that help you not have to care about all those details. You can get to them if you have to, but, but you don't want to have to. It's absolutely impossible to do this in a world where you have to go to a physical machine. That world's gone. You've got to have it all be software. You've got to have it all be API driven. If you take this notion of a container uh, as opposed to a VM and you sort of do the digital equivalent of making all of them the same size, a lot of really great things have happened. And that's what we're trying to do at Docker. We're trying to basically standardize this technology so that you can take any application or any component and put it inside a, a virtual container and know that that will run on any server. So the future becomes very unpredictable very quickly, but I think it becomes a lot more interesting. The journey to the Software Defined Data Center starts today. And we expect to see great things in the future, and everyone is welcome. So I'd like to say thanks to uh, all of our speakers, and uh, thank all of you for attending.